and you're making money off said content, just like you're making money for making content off your mom. It's very clear that you don't see your mom as human and you don't see your ex-girlfriend Muna as human. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi aka Petit Diva and in this video we are looking at couple influencer, couple channels, couple pages with a focus on an Asian man and black woman um, couple. Now a little backstory to these people. Uh, the Asian guy is a guy that kind of blew up on social media when he was showing his life with his parents especially his mom that he said has some mental health issues so he said that she has ocd she like, lives in a toxic household and the rest so him sharing his interaction with his parents his mother kind of made his pages blow up the guy's name is zav um, check out some of the videos that he used to put up. Here's what it's like to enter in a house that's controlled by extreme germaphobe mom. So first of first, I'm usually not allowed to enter in through the front door. My mom wants everyone to enter in through the garage because she believes the inside of my shoes are dirty. So I got to switch to sandals, but I actually take off my socks first and put it in there. So my clean feet goes into the sandal and then close the garage door. But I got to wait until it's closed all the way first. And that's because she believes that light attracts flies and then she doesn't want the kitchen door opened. So she wants the kitchen door to stay closed until the garage door is closed so no flies can fly in. Now my house is two stories high, but I'm only restricted to the first floor. Now my mom doesn't touch or sell anything in the first floor and she doesn't allow my dad to as well because I apparently made everything dirty. This is the only chair that she sits on in the kitchen to eat by herself. And she makes my dad sit in that one clean chair and then these are my chairs. Anyways, I usually just walk into my room and chill by myself and close the door and like shut everything out. This room is extremely big. Yeah, it's a really nice house, but I don't fucking feel happy in it. Because here comes the other restrictions. I'm not allowed to use the other bathroom because it's clean for my mom. I'm only allowed to use my bathroom in here because it's dirty. I remember what I said earlier. My mom doesn't use anything, nor does she allow my dad to use anything downstairs. Yet, she still doesn't allow me to sit on these chairs or sit on these sofas right here because it's clean. Here's the weird part. She doesn't sit on them either because she thinks it's too dirty for her, but it's cleaner than me. So therefore, I am the dirtiest. I cannot sit on these kind of clean sofas, but then she's way cleaner and she cannot sit on these either. So no one just sits on them. I'm allowed to the bedroom next to my bedroom because this used to be a living room renovated as another bedroom. This is actually my sister's room. This is where my friend was staying actually earlier because my sister was gone for college. This room has been like dirty because of me. So she just gave up and gave it to me. I'm actually not allowed to go upstairs even though we have two more rooms. My dad stays in that room up there. My mom stays in the room down the hall. Here's a clip of my mom showing her narcissism and scarcity mindset when she's arguing with me and my sister for no reason. For context, before I show you guys the clip, basically my sister is visiting from college for two nights. Me and my sister just woke up and then we were talking, but then my mom walked in our room and she saw that the microwave's extension cable was still turned on. She started nagging about this because our parents always instilled in us to always turn the extension cord off. Because they grew up poor, they want to save money on virtually anything possible. Even any type of electricity that's connected to a cord, they will install some kind of extension cord to have us manually turn them off. So it, you know, it's more convenient. We don't have to actually unplug. But sometimes we just forget. And then it turns into a whole ass lecture for no reason. So enjoy the clip. Bro, what are you talking about? Okay, well then she'll pay the two cents of electricity. Sometimes you just don't remember. Yeah, I know, but sometimes people forget, but it's not like we're forgetting to turn on like a high beam light or something. Literally. The hell are you talking about? Now, these videos got his pages to blow up i believe on his personal page he has over like three hundred thousand um followers on tiktok i know he's also on instagram any which way he got into a relationship with a black girl and they had a couple page they had a couple tiktok page 
ad and they were putting up videos that were cutesy and people loved watching those videos mm. This is what happens when you have a tech boyfriend and a girlfriend knows nothing about tech, but she starts crying instead when her tech doesn't work. Basically, she was editing for a YouTube video, but when she exported it, she realized that the file was corrupt. It didn't work. It couldn't upload to YouTube, right? Bro was yapping. Yeah. But then what happened is that she already deleted the file that she was editing. She can no longer f edit that file and export it again. So she started crying hella. I did. And I was low-key laughing inside because I was a computer science major and I knew there was a backup somewhere on her computer. So I'm telling her to redo what I just did. I even showed her twice. So she's able to basically do this by herself when I'm not here. You show me once. So let's do show it. Let's see once. it. Let's do it. Finder and then you gotta go. And then what? You're supposed to go to library. Yeah, but you said library is a hidden folder. Uh-huh. What did I say about hidden folders? Bestie, I don't know. What the fuck? So even if you don't know, what should you do right here when you're by yourself? Ask boyfriend. No, what if I'm not here? Ask boyfriend. What if I'm not here? Text boyfriend. What if I'm dead? Seance. She has retained zero information while I taught her. I've no, showed her twice no, already. No, 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 no. She I says don't... she's just gonna cry if I'm not here to help her, basically. Like what she did earlier. And then call him. No, no, no. What if I'm not available? What if I'm on a flight? On a flight? Where would you be going without me? Now, apparently, he had broken up with her, but a lot of people, his followers and their followers, did not know. But when he put up this video, Give me this Bro, okay. look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she robbing my food right now. I love pork belly, it's my favorite food. Oh, the broth is really good. Look at that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. And just shut that whole thing in your mouth. That's too good. No. Bro. Sir? Mm. Oh, on. What are you doing? Why are you ordering more? Huh? He put up this video of them going to a Vietnamese um, restaurant, and that's when his ex girlfriend posted the video saying that she did not understand why he posted that video because they had broken up months ago. <laughs> okay. I don't really know how to go about this um, and it's hard because I still care about him as a person um, but this is very <laughs> like I, I can't let him just go on the internet and like do what he's doing. He broke up with me on March 2nd he and i have not spoken since march 3rd today is may 5th that i'm filming this we have not spoken in two months and like three days it's may 6th sorry in fact when he broke up with me he told me that we should not speak to each other for like a couple weeks couple months and that we should process things on our own like process things away from each other which is fine Okay, he's allowed to date whoever he wants. He's allowed to, if he wants to break up with me, he can break up with me. That's okay. But 
when he broke up with me, he also did it in a way where he told me that the reason why he was breaking up with me is because he felt like we aren't compatible. And he kind of listed off character flaws that he saw with me or like, I guess, habit flaws. I don't know. Um, that he felt like didn't align with him. And he told me like, he doesn't think that we work like all of these things like I don't want to get into the details um but basically in my head he was breaking up with me because he like he thought that it was me who was the issue so which again that's fine but now it kind of feels weird because we have not spoken since March 3rd it's May and now he's uploading videos of us from February. Um, so that video was taken February 27th, I believe. Um, and that's already like only like four or five days before he broke up with me in the first place. Um, so I guess I never expected him to post it, but I also never expected him to wait this long and then like pretend like nothing happened um without contacting me first at the very least because he is completely in charge of that account he always has been i have never had the login information to that account i've never had access to that account besides being on his phone sometimes when we were together um and so from that uh with that context i also don't have any access to the monetary gain from the creator fund on that account which during our relationship when he would make money from that account he told me like oh like i'm taking on dates like i'm spending it on you like i'm spending even more on you than that account makes so i don't like i don't need to give you the money from the account because i spend it on you already which if it's true or false only he knows um but now is a little bit different because we aren't dating he isn't taking me on dates so all of the money that that video is going to make is going straight to him now the ex-girlfriend was just saying that they broke up around march and he posted that video around may now that video was filmed some days before they broke up she also stated that he was the one that broke up with her not her and even though she didn't understand what was going on, like he gave a lot of um, a lot of excuses and said so many things to break up with her. She also talked about the fact that she has no control over the couple's page, that he was fully in control of the couple's page, and that she never received any monetary benefit from the page because all the money was going to him, and he was saying that he was using the money to take her out on dates and the rest and she doesn't understand why after they broke up he still uploaded the video months after it would have made sense if he had posted it before they broke up or maybe a couple of days after they broke up but this was like almost three months after so she didn't understand what was going on now people had a lot of things to say about the whole situation this situation is the reason why you will never catch me making a couple's page unless we're married so to back things up a little bit this is up his face may look familiar because i did a video on him a few months ago at the time when he was going viral for living with his germophobic narcissistic mother in addition to his main account he also had a couple's account that he featured his girlfriend muna on and they were posting pretty regularly up until the end of february that was until this video was posted a few days ago and nobody thought much of it until Muna stitched the video and not only revealed that her and Zaf had been broken up since March 2nd but that they haven't spoken to each other since March 3rd and yet he's uploading a video like they're still together. The part that really made me mad was learning that even though it was a couple's channel Zav didn't pay her a fair cut of the earnings for this reason. During our relationship when he would make money from that account he told me like oh like i'm taking on dates like i'm spending it on you like i'm spending even more on you than that account makes so i don't 
like i don't need to give you the money from the account because i spend it on you already that right there is a bullshit excuse it sounds like he was trying to cheap out on paying her and regardless of how much money they made or didn't make on that account the profit should have been split down the middle and to add insult to injury that last video that he uploaded was recorded a few days before they broke up and then to go over two months without speaking to your ex-girlfriend just to upload an old video to make money off of it is just nasty work yeah. <laughs> okay Wow, so that's disappointing. So Zab has this account where he mostly shares the struggles of living with his OCD narcissistic mother, which I could totally relate to. I knew he had a girlfriend because this account would pop up on my FYP sometimes, Zab Muna, of them together. And I just found out today Muna has her own account. Now, I'm not an avid follower of any particular account because life gets busy and it's hard for me to just keep up with making content. But Muna's video popped up on my FYP and you can go see her video directly. I reposted it. They've been broken up since March and Zav is apparently the only one that has complete control of the account that presents them as a couple. Apparently she has no access to that account. Only he does and only he gets all the money from that account. I didn't even realize Muna had her own account till today. I had just assumed she doesn't do social media and he just does it for them. This rubs me wrong in all the ways. Zav, you probably should answer to this sooner than later. Because why would you post a lovey-dovey video after you've broken up on an account that monetizes off of your relationship with a woman that you are no longer in a relationship with? That's fucked up. Because with that action, now you have completely opened the door in people questioning your content making choices. And I've always given you the benefit of doubt, but I'm not sure how you can explain this one. Okay, so I have a few thoughts about the Zav and Muna situation. So I figured I would once again come to you guys in bed with no makeup and talk about things because that's as much energy as I want to give TikTok at this point. So to really quickly summarize, Zav and Muna are two TikTok creators who had a couple's account. I actually saw um, one of the videos that was going viral before I saw what really happened. It was um, Zav taking Muna to a Vietnamese restaurant for the first time. Um, and, you know, it was a really cute video. And I guess because I'm a black woman, I get a lot of like interracial dating videos, <laughs> even though like I... Ooh, if I'm being honest, like, <sighs> how to say this? So for me personally, there's content that interracial couples make. And then there's like swirl content. Do you know what I mean? Um, and swirl content often is pandering to oftentimes black women who are looking to date outside of their race. Um, and on you and on YouTube and on TikTok more so now these days, there are a lot of people who have basically figured out that they can make content pandering to black women that will go viral because black women have so much power on social media. And what bothers me about like swirl content, which I'm not necessarily saying is what Zav and Muna made, but I'll get to that later, is that it's so disingenuous. You know, some of these people, you dig into their lives and you realize they're not dating black women at all. They're not dating black women at all. They're just making content about how they could possibly potentially be open to dating black women. Um, but like the, the couple's content channel is a little bit different, right? Um, but like, let's be honest, the people who enjoy like swirl content are also the people who probably watch Zav and Muna's channel and really enjoyed it specifically because of the cultural exchange aspect of it. Now, I think some of my feelings kind of come from growing up in a predominantly Asian community um, and knowing kind of a little bit about like, <laughs> even though they may be open to y'all being friends, they're not really okay with y'all dating sort of thing. Um, and so I guess I, I feel some type of way because I know that at the end of the day, a lot of people are not going to long-term date black women respectfully. And that's sometimes why this bothers me. Um, but let's talk about this because for me, this is like 
another level of all of this. And this is part of why I wanted to talk about this. So Zav and Muna broke up, but Zav is still posting pictures and videos of them on their couple's account as though they're still together. Now, as a creator who has been very public about their relationship in the past, I remember what it was like to break up with somebody and have social media wonder where he went. I made videos with my ex forever ago. Some of y'all probably don't even remember those videos because they were very, like, before a lot of my, like, YouTube fame, if you want to call it that. Um, and, you know, it was so, oof. I think I waited like a full year before acknowledging that we were no longer together purely because, <laughs> purely because um, I didn't really want to answer people's questions about it. I really did it. Okay, you guys remember this guy who posts about his narcissistic mom? He also had a TikTok account with his girlfriend. There was no post since February until yesterday. This video was posted, seems normal, seems fine. But today, Muna made this video on her own TikTok account where she said that they've been broken up since March. They've also been no contact. And even though this is clearly a couple's account where both of them are involved in the content, he never shared the account details with her or gave her any of the money that was made through the creator fund. She said part of his reasoning was that the money he was making from the account he was spend on her for dates. And now clearly that doesn't make any sense since he just posted a video and they're not together anymore and haven't been together for months. He's now getting called out in his comment section on the video and on videos on his own page. And if all of this is true, he deserves to get called out. I feel like it's already wrong that he didn't split any of the money that they made while they were still together making content. Now, to be fair, we don't know if this is true. He has not come out to say anything about it yet. But if it is true... <sighs> To be honest, I already didn't like the videos that he was making where he would record him having an argument with his mom. I understand the argument that you want to spread awareness, but monetizing over arguments with your parents cannot be healthy. The larger the fight equals more views, more clicks, more money. How do you know you are truly doing your best to stay level-headed in an argument and handle it the best you can? And you know that any bit of escalating it can also benefit you monetarily. It's just such a slippery slope. What do you guys think? pages are risky. You have to really be confident in your foundation as a couple to get on the internet and make content with each other and maintain the relationship at the same time. However, what happens after the breakup? I feel like it should be obvious that the couple page would no longer exist. Why should one or the other be able to benefit off of the relationship that is no longer in existence, you know? So to see this creator named Muna and her boyfriend, Zab, I think that's his name. They were a couple. They broke up back in February. They have a shared couple page with at least like over 100k followers. And they used to post cute little couple shit. Once again, they broke up back in February. Um, Zav, Zav, whatever. I guess he has access to the couple page and he just posted a video of him and Muna together like a day ago. Muna stitches this video and she's like, we've been broken up for months. Here's the question. Why do you think you're entitled to make money off of a relationship that no longer exists? It's definitely very skeezy, especially since from what it sounds like you have a girlfriend or you're dating around so damn fuck that girl that you're dating who has to see you do stoop to these levels to make a quick buck and it also just feels kind of icky from a social media standpoint um you're just you're basically lying to your audience it's pretty evident that you're doing this for money and this is why the concept of like couple pages, relationship pages in general, like please make sure your foundation is strong enough before you be starting these pages with just any and everybody. Because it just feels like from what Muna was talking about, it sounds like the breakup was just very a lot of deflecting on his part onto her and making her feel like a shitty person just for him to turn around and turn out to be the shitty person in the situation because who uploads a video onto a shared account of like some cutesy relationship shit when you've been broken up well over a month? 
it's gross now a lot of people do not understand why he was uploading that video months after they've broken up they were calling him out on his behavior and they thought it was a sus kind of thing to do any which way he made a video to address the controversy behind him and his ex-girlfriend and the whole video that he uploaded hi guys i wanted to address the current controversy between me and muna first off i want to apologize to all those that have been supporting me since especially the early days of the couples page and this account you guys are completely in the right for feeling anger towards me it was my fault for not updating guys and giving you guys more context and i'm i was stupid to post that old video on the couple account thinking nothing was going to happen as of right now um i've already contacted muna but i haven't watched her response video nor read any of the comments on the video i posted on the couple account all this has been updated um through my two friends that have seen it and i'm not gonna address any uh, anything specific in this video and um because the situation is a lot more complicated than it is at least seeing what the comments are on this account specifically so uh, me and muna are meeting up later tonight to talk about it and sort things out so hopefully i can update you guys again by tonight or tomorrow either on this account or the couple's account or, or just whatever it takes for you guys to be updated. Again, I'm, I'm sorry for not giving you guys context and I hope you guys understand. Um, thanks for listening. And um, cause the situation is a lot more complicated than it is at least. Nah, it's actually not that complicated. Matter of fact, I'm about to uncomplicate it. But let me get this straight. You broke up with her and made, it made it seem like she was the problem. Then about three months after the breakup, you're still using her for content, an interracial dating uh, TikTok page for content. And you're making money off said content, just like you're making money for making content off your mom. It's very clear that you don't see your mom as human and you don't see your ex-girlfriend Muna as human. Like, bro, you have a really disturbing... Um, behavior and fixation when it comes to recording people without their permission or posting videos of people without their permission and getting monetary gain off of it i want to say you are so obsessed with being a content creator and, and an influencer or whatever that you are literally exploiting your family and your ex-girlfriend keep your update and i hope that moon sues your ass for all your worth now he took accountability for not informing people that um he and the ex-girlfriend have separated he also took accountability for uploading the video he said he was going to talk to um his ex-girlfriend that's muna and they will try and smoothen things out now i don't know what happened after that um i tried to check her page to see if there was any updates but i didn't see any update on the whole situation Anyway, Trey, this is my thoughts about the whole thing. The whole thing is a mess, but this is the kind of disadvantage that comes with um, having couples page or a couple channel or even family um, channel or family page. Um, the thing is, right now, right now, in my own opinion, the fastest way to grow on social media um, as a content creator or influencer is to have a couple page, couple channel or family channel or family um, page because a lot of those couple pages channels seem to grow faster than a normal and seem to grow faster than other um, people, other pages, other channels and even if they are doing the most basic of things, it just seems to grow faster and i think because people just like to see um loving videos and uh, videos of people um just being happy and in love even if they are fighting behind the scenes and just putting up those videos just kind of um was it 
kind of um gets people in their feelings and it, it tends to do well for the couple channels and couple pages i noticed that they even do much better if the couples are interracial and this is my own opinion i've noticed it lately that it seems like the asian black um, combination does a lot well i think because of this whole k-drama k-pop and the rest i don't know it's my own opinion i might be wrong but that's what i've noticed and with that um those um pages those couple pages couple channel tend to earn a lot of money because they are getting a lot of views if you're uploading videos that are considered uh, monetizable on any platform that they establish the pages the channel they tend to um earn a lot of money and that's where some problems might originate from now when everything is good and dandy um most of the time the partner that is not fully in charge of the page the channel might not really look at the monetary side they might just be in their relationship enjoying their marriage and everything but when things start to get rocky you find out that the partner that is in charge of the channel or page would still try to get the other partner to participate in their content creation and everything put up videos and appear nice and dandy to the whole world they appear that they are loving and everything but because of the fact that they are earning a lot of money from those pages and the channel so they will not want to stop the video uploads and everything they want to appear that everything is okay now when they finally break up or separate and that's when you find out that the other partner that was not fully involved in the whole control of the page and the channel begins to look at the fact that they earned a lot of money when they were together and they might not have been opportunity to get some of that money because when they were in the relationship they, they were not really focused on the money per se they were just focused on the relationship and they trusted the other partner now when they separate or when they break up they will really like you probably we've probably earned a lot of money from that channel from from all the videos that we've uploaded um i did not get fair monetary compensation and, and that's where uh, more resentment sets in on the partner that feels cheated um personally i feel like both partners are supposed to actually benefit from the monetary gains that their channel their page their videos are um getting now i don't think it should be equal any money that they did not invest and they are probably not paying tax should be shared but it should not be equal the partner that is putting in more effort probably editing planning the video content doing the thumbnail doing the title doing the seo i feel like that person should get more because if you are going to hire a social media manager or an editor to do all that you will pay so if one of the partner is doing all that and you you're just showing up in the videos putting up your face and just talking and doing whatever you're doing i don't think that partner should get the same amount um that the other person is getting so there should be like a sharing formula um but they should get fair um composition because those channels and pages i know will be any a lot of money they will also be getting especially those that are married get paid partnership they get brand collaboration so i feel like the money should be shared now because of those videos and those pages do well and they earn a lot of money like i said the partner that is gaining a lot monetary wise would want to hold on to the pay want to hold on to the channel and that's why they would do as they would do so much to make sure that even when they've separated or when they are having issues that people don't know so that they can continue to earn money from the videos that they've uploaded which is what that um, guy did which is what zap did um probably because the the page used to earn a lot of money and he was not consistent in uploading videos and the thing with the algorithm is that when you are consistent with uploading videos the other videos that have been on the page will also be pushed which will 
can also increase the income what probably happened was that maybe the other videos that are uploaded on the page it's we're not doing well monetary wise so he uploaded the new video so that it can also boost the um viewership of the other videos so that the money can improve the money can increase and then it can benefit from the monetary gain without giving her anything but she came up and said no don't use me to get money and even if we've separated if you are going to earn money from that video and other videos i'm entitled to some since we are no longer together and you are not taking me on dates which was the excuse you used when they were earning money from the videos now one of the cons of couple pages couple channel when they break up there's a lot of enmity and who owns the channel who owns the page like we saw with jamie and nikki um when they broke up jamie got the uh, family vlog channel which originally was his own so i cannot say anything bad about that it was actually his own um channel and jamie was the one that was really doing a lot of the editing and everything and uploading so i cannot blame him for any money i just um thought that he should have shared um the he should have given his ex-wife uh, proper compensation now the ex-wife told him to remove all the other videos that so that he would not end on those videos that they had uploaded since which he did and then they started fighting over the fact that um he could not upload uh, videos of his children because the children when he featured them on his channel um they the videos do well which would earn him money and his ex-wife said she did not want um the children on his channel she did not want them featured on any videos on his channel because of i don't know but they were featuring the children when they were together and we trade that aside so that those kind of things happen when they break up and then there's a whole mess that occurs because they're fighting over the channel they're fighting over the page they're losing money everywhere any which way that's what usually happen with a lot of these couple pages and channel which a lot of people don't consider when they decide to open a uh, couple pages couple channel what the money like i said the money the money that comes in when everything is good and dandy it's very very good and like i said they grow faster than any other channel in my own opinion so most people when they get into the relationship a marriage and everything they begin to do couple pages couple channel and like i said it does well and they earn a lot to be able to take care of their family but the problem comes when the relationship is not as good as it used to be and then you now get things like what Zah did or what happened to Jamie and Nikki. Anyway, too, I don't know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think that Zah did nothing wrong in posting a video of him and his ex-girlfriend months after they've broken up on their couple's page? Do you think that do you think that the couple page should have been shut down since they were no longer together? That there was no need to steal any money from the videos that he had uploaded um based on the fact that they are no longer together do you think that what muna did in calling him out was right i would love to hear your thoughts about couple pages couple influencer couple channel and this whole situation between zab and muna so please leave your comment in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye